In this video, we are going to examine some basic OPAS customizations. These are the settings that we recommend every user take a moment to adjust as it's going to personalize your use of the software. These are all in the Edit Preferences area, so I'm going to select that from my alphabetical list of dropdowns, click the blue arrow, and we'll begin here on the General tab. Now in this video, I'm only going to show you those settings that pertain to every single user in every single program area. We're going to skip over those that are specific to only some program areas. So the language is going to be preset, but you can change it to anything you like. And these startup screens tell OPAS which program area to automatically launch each time you log in. And we recommend that the calendar be one of those program areas, but you can launch up to four others if you like. Each one will open on its own tab. The maximum keystroke interval. The maximum keystroke interval is a number that's a lot easier to demonstrate than it is to describe. And to do that, I'm going to use this copy of OPAS here. And I'm in the works area with all my repertoire, and I'm in the compositions by Mozart, and I want to jump up in my list to works by Brahms. So since my composer name is highlighted, if I type BRA, I hop up to Brahms. Now this maximum keystroke interval is the amount of time that I have between typing the letter B, the letter R, and the letter A. So you want a number between one and a half and two seconds for this number. We'll now look at the bottom part of this screen. Forms open tabbed is the default and that's what we recommend. Whenever you open a program area via your favorites menu, it will open in a tabbed window just like your web browser. Separate windows is compatible with older versions of OPAS and in that setting all program areas open in a separate floating window. The navigation bar is this section here. It is your favorites menu and your alphabetical list of drop-downs. That can be on the right or left hand side and you can set the background color if you like. The list pane position defaults to the bottom of the screen. And again, I'm going to switch over here. And this is the list pane. It contains all of your search results. Whenever you do any kind of search, the results are displayed down here. And when you select a search result, it is automatically loaded into the list pane above. The alternate setting, if I open the address book and just do a general search here, the alternate setting is the one you see here, where your search results open on their own list. And you can see that this shows you many more results at once. But to see any details, you have to select the item and then go to the main screen. So the list is its own screen showing you more results, or the list is a pane at the bottom of the window showing you fewer results, but automatically loading any result you click. So we'll switch back to this copy of OPAS. The fonts and colors. There are two basic font settings. One for text that is inside a list or a grid, and one that isn't. So again, I'll switch back here. And in the address book, you can see this is the font for lists and grids. And the other font is the one used in general text fields like this city and the last name and things like that. These color settings are primarily for the calendar, different days of the week. This is the setting for any row that you select. So again, I'll switch back to this copy of OPAS. And you can see that when I select multiple rows, they are highlighted in that color. This is the color for any single selected row. This is for fields that you can edit. This is for fields when they are in the search mode and this is for fields that are calculated or frozen by the system. So any and all of those can and should be set to your liking. Toolbar settings. We recommend you show the caption and you can see in the background here the word saved search sits underneath the saved search button and so that tells you what each button does. We recommend the captions be on and the width of each button can be set to anywhere from 45 to 60 or 65 depending upon how wide your monitor is. 
a height of 45 and a font size of 7 is also recommended. And finally, we're going to skip to this rightmost tab to look at your calendar settings. If you actively manage your organization's schedule, these two boxes will probably want to be checked. If you check this open selected calendar, you will open the calendar to wherever you last closed it. If this is unchecked, the calendar opens to today. And show calendar day text, we recommend that that's on. It will display any text typed directly on that date. And this link date selection to calendar determines how this navigation calendar works. And for details on that, we would refer you to the specific video that covers calendar settings. So that's a quick look at the basic OPAS customizations.